Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about the compression ignition engine, uh, CI engines. So here we will use uh, diesel as our uh, medium in order to uh, simulate. So we will just uh, go through the steps how we need to simulate and how to post process the results. So we will take here only the sector or the part of the engine. So maybe only 60, so out of 360 uh, angle of uh, revolution, I will take only 60 degrees as a sector uh, angle and I will try to simulate and I will show you the things. So just drag drop the IC engine fluent tab and select that IC engine ICE. So you can go to view and click on these properties. After that you will get this. So go to combustion simulation. In the combustion simulation you go for combustion simulation type as sector. So for present simulation I am uh, selecting is connecting dot length is 155 and crank radius is 55 and I try to simulate only from inlet valve closed to exhaust valve open so in that angle of uh, thing only I'm just trying to simulate so inlet valve closed is 570 and exhaust valve open is 833 what I have uh, considered here and then go to uh, design model double click so the design model will open so I have tried to import this uh, geometry which I have created so you can see these are the two valves uh, through which inlet and exhaust so this is the valve through which uh, your uh, uh, this smart air would be uh, entering and uh, after that so the piston would move up and it will compress the air and then uh, diesel would be injected uh, from the spray location so we'll uh, try to simulate all those things and uh, so you can see here this is uh, piston crown what you can see and this this volume or this highlighted portion is nothing but clearance volume and uh, these are the two valves that move in and move out of the position of the valve closure so we will just need to try to simulate first click on the input manager go to input manager it is asking for the cylinder liner faces so these are the cylinder liner faces we have got two liner faces apply spark of points it's not spark points are not required it's not si combustion so it's ca combustion so in compression ignition not required wall bodies these two are the wall bodies click apply and wall seat faces so these are the seat faces where it will uh, sit right so there are four faces for us select the four faces click on apply then uh, it was asking for spray location so spray location i'll select as 0 0.02 uh, uh, so 2e power minus 5 as my spray location from where the diesel would be injected spray angle is uh, 60 degrees what i have selected and uh, after everything is completed click on the input manager and then click on uh, generate and after that is happened just try to decompose so automatically uh, ANSYS would take care in such that it will have the simulation starting from 577 degrees so we'll get the length of the uh, input or sorry, inside the cylinder uh, through uh, 577 degrees so it will start from that point so so you can see yeah so it's completed this is 577 degrees when the uh, connecting rod is being uh, rotated so from the 577 degrees it starts and its simulation would be continued so now you can see this is the piston crown shape and this part is uh, above the piston and below the valves right so if there is any mismatch in volume or mismatch in clearance everything would be compensated here you can see there is a small extra portion here right you can see this extra portion what you can see that is due to this uh, uh, imbalance of the connecting rod length and crank radius and the clearance volume what we have given so that would be uh, accustomed into this small portion right and uh, so after this is completed you can just go through sorry go to the next meshing so click on meshing and you can just close the design modeler and meanwhile the meshing so after the meshing got opened you can check here so you can just go to the mesh option and in the mesh option you can go for ic engine in the ic engine you go for ic setup mesh so, so i've selected the course as it is an academic version it should not cross 512 thousand nodes 
maybe i just try to increase the minimum mesh size to 22 and maximum mesh size to 0.6 and i'll try to click ok now i'll try to select jc generate mesh so i'll check what would be the mesh count if the mesh count crosses 512k then again we need to reduce the course structure and all the things so it will take some time so you can use this uh, module in order to uh, simulate uh, biodiesels or you need to have a different uh, heads of the cylinder or any copper coating or any other coatings onto the walls of the cylinder so all these things you can use uh, use this simulation in order to uh, simulate all the stuff and you can also use for NOx emissions and all the other kinds of uh, things using this IC engine module of the fluent so I think the meshing has been happened in the last part so we'll wait so the yeah the mesh has been completed so you can see and the count is go to statistics oh it is crossed 512 maybe in a way again we need to go for uh, you just uh, clear generate data okay then go to setup mesh maybe you need to increase uh, mesh minimum size to 0.25 and maximum size to 0.65 and click OK and then click generate again. So we need to check as it should not cross 512k, that's a problem for us. So it will take some time. So still it's above 512k. Again, we'll go we'll, this time, we'll go for 0.3 and uh, 0.7. So this, this would be maybe sufficient. Uh, so again need to click generate mesh so it is okay still we just increase this 2.75 and uh, this to front size maybe 0.96 So after the mesh is completed, uh, click on solver setup. So here the solver setup would be opened. Uh, we, here we need to mention the mass flow rate and uh, distance temperature and all the things. So now engine specification, I will mention RPMS 1500 and uh, I need to read a profile file. In this profile file only we will get all the mass flow rates and the position of the piston with respect to the angles and everything. Uh, so it is uh, 
so it's saying that already exists you have read it so now uh, go to physics settings uh, and select a diesel air uh, then go to injection click on uh, injection bond and after clicking on injection you need to mention our uh, position of the injection and uh, flow rate of the injection it's so a injection here means it is diesel so diesel would be injected in uh, with uh, as a droplet uh, kind so we need to have that injection uh, inserted into the uh, our domain so we will go for uh, injection type like uh, i'll just show you so it would be uh, maybe you'll consider uniform uh, type so it was just getting adjusted according to that and uh, we need to uh, mention the temperature and evaporating species and all the stuff so we'll mention and the points what we need to mention here it is uh, uh, the evaporating species which should be yeah c10 is 22 and uh, the temperature and the crank angle at which the injection starts maybe we'll get mentioned 721 and the end of the crank angle we'll take it as 742 and uh, velocity magnitude with which it, it is injecting uh, it would be like around a high velocity so in order to atomize so it is 468 and uh, we need to mention the flow rate so the flow rate uh, we can leave it default um, next so i think everything we have set it so maybe we can uh, go to the next one so click on ok and go to the boundary condition in the boundary condition uh, you just click on create so you select this and you mention a temperature of 570 create and the chamber top of cylinder also 570 create piston also 570 create and ic piston maybe around 630 and the top face is maybe around 605 so these all temperatures we are selecting according to our uh, this one so uh, we can change also it depends on our wish and interest uh, in order to and we need to patch uh, the species with uh, different other uh, values uh, so maybe and h2o like very much slow fraction uh, maybe 0 0.1 the patch and the pressure uh, will patch it with uh, uh, 321529 some random pressure where it can start con uh, ignition so create and the temperature with same uh, maybe the 4 on 404 create so close then go to solution control um so adapt to time step so the time step would be adjusted automatically according to our uh, this one so maybe we, i can leave default and in the post processing i'll select ic sector uh, edit and i'll uh, uh, velocity magnitude i think it's okay so then create an okay uh, so now you go to setup double click the setup so it will go to the setup and you need to uh, run the setup and here we can uh, have the uh, a option of changing it to biodiesel or we can change the different piston uh, heads as i've stated earlier so all these things we can do here so now the setup will be open i think it will take some time so i uh, have only single process so it is one start so after clicking on the start uh, so it will open so now it will take some time to open uh, so after uh, everything is completed just come to run calculations nothing you need to change uh, so go for uh, click on calculate so it will take some time uh, in order to run so i'll not run completely i'll run few iterations or few time steps and i'll show you the results so i have ran through the required time steps so now this is the profile what i am getting uh, after running the time steps so you can see the time step selector so this is zero time with respect to that uh, uh, 570 uh, degrees what we have given as uh, angle starting so apply maybe you can select this plane what we have here and uh, reframe it this is the plane to this plane we can color with variable maybe we'll start with the temperature click ok apply 
so now you can see the temperature which is uh, 404 obviously we have given passed it with that one and we will just go to the other time step now we will see how the temperature is getting varied so it will take some time to access so you can see the temperature has been raised with respect to the time step and the crank angle apply so now again uh, it will move further and you can see maximum temperature it is uh, 1000 kelvin which is very high so combustion has been taking place and i can click on apply for the next time step you can see it will relieve the temperature would decrease you can see that yeah so temperature is getting decreased here so similarly for this instead of temperature you can select uh, mass fraction of n2 or particle mass concentration anything so you can just select all those things so uh, it helps you in uh, giving those values so yes if we need to activate these things but these are default we are getting but we can get this mass fraction of uh, end to end all the stuff so you can see the mass fraction how it is been getting uh, varied and uh, see uh, and we can just go for uh, heat flux values also and we can see how the heat flux values are getting varied also heat flux will not be on this counter it would be on the line because it is on a surface heat flux this is not, not a, a heat value so it would be on the this line so now you can go for velocity i'll just show the velocities yes in velocity how the velocity is getting varied so now you can see the velocity profile how it is getting varied with respect to the uh, operation when the piston is moving up and down you can see the velocity profile and this is the piston head shape what we have considered here we can vary the piston head shape also depending on our requirement and uh, we can go for uh, other things which if you want to have uh, vorticity function and all the stuff so you can i'll just uh, select a velocity invariant q which is, which is like a vorticity how exactly those are getting varied so you can see the vorticity is very much uh, nearer to 9 po minus 9.7 into 10 power 5 all over the thing so i'll just go to other uh, position where you can see the variation in vorticity function so you can see uh, the variation in vorticity when yeah so the vorticity has been increased when it is getting compressed so it would be maximum when it is fully get compressed because due to the combustion process also vorticity increases as we know so yeah so the value is increased instead of minus it's very positive and it is into 10 power 6 the vorticity has increased a lot so i uh, hope guys you have uh, got a good knowledge by seeing this video and uh, i request you guys to please do subscribe the channel and share the channel among your groups uh, and uh, ring the bell icon for more updates thank you thank you very much